Welcome to this very exciting video where we're going to be talking about the only AI in the world that can watch what you're doing on your screen and give you real-time advice or input as you're doing something. Now this can be used for loads of different things. Now obviously one of the things that we as YouTubers do is we try and make it apply to our niche. However, I personally don't think this is good for SEO. There might be some things that this is good for SEO for that I can't see right now, but to be honest with you, 99% of the time you can just take a screenshot of something, upload it to ChatGPT, and it will give you some very basic SEO advice. I don't think this is the real use case for this. I'm gonna show you two use cases today that I really believe make this incredibly overpowered and incredibly good. So first of all, go to aistudio.google.com. This is how you find um, this, uh, th this option. On the left, you press stream in real time, and then you press this little video button here where it says select video source. I'm gonna press, press screen, and then I'm just gonna say entire screen and then share. Now this is gonna be a conversation that we're gonna to have together. Um, so hello, uh, Google, can you hear me? I don't have the ability to directly see your screen. I can only process the text and audio that you provide to me. If you share a video with me, I can comment on the content of that video. Would you like to share a video? I am sharing screen with you. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know what happened there. So stream real time, this button here, screen. Oh, I need to press allow this time, there we go. Entire screen, entire screen, share. Hey Google, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you're on the Google AI Studio page. Okay, I'm gonna go on Gucci.com. Can you still see my screen? Yes, I can still see your screen. You are now on the Gucci website. I'm gonna scroll through the Gucci website. I want you to give me a breakdown of every single feature that you see. I want to later recreate a website similar to Gucci. However, I don't have the ability to show you screenshot by screenshot because there are a lot of moving animated elements to Gucci's website. Do you understand what I want you to do? Okay, I understand. You want me to describe the features of the Gucci website as you scroll through it because you want to recreate a similar site later. However, I cannot show you the website screenshot by screenshot. I'll do my best to describe the features as you scroll. What's the first thing you see? I'm gonna scroll through and you're going to watch the entire time and then you're gonna give me a breakdown of every single feature that you see, okay? Let's begin. Okay, I will watch the entire time. On the top of the page, I see a banner with the words order now to receive by 12 24ths. There is also the Gucci logo, which is large and centered. Below it is a picture of a man and a woman and two other people out of focus in the back. And below them are two- Google, please, say, Google, please. Uh, focus on moving elements. Now you're okay with what you're doing, but focus on all elements and animations. Okay, I will focus on the moving elements and animations as you scroll. In addition to what I already described, the image of the man and the woman is slightly moving with some subtle changes of light and shadow. And for her and for him buttons also subtly shift when hovered over. Continue. Okay, as I scroll, I see four product categories displayed. Women's handbags, women's small leather goods, women's shoes, and men's shoes. Each category has a corresponding photo, and the product images shimmer slightly. Continue. Okay, I'll continue. Now I see two more categories, evening occasion and travel, with corresponding images. The travel category features a suitcase with wheels, while the evening occasion category features a woman in a fancy dress. These images also have a subtle shimmer to them. Both also have a button that says explore the collection. Continue. Okay, now there is a section titled Gucci Gift, a night in Florence. On the left, there is a video of a woman in a shiny dress walking. And on the right, there is text describing the campaign and a button that says Discover Gucci gift. Continue. Hello, Google. 
Okay, now there are three sections, personalization, collect and store, and book an appointment. Each section has a corresponding image, which is a video that plays automatically. Personalization shows a video with different angles of a handbag. Collect and store shows a video of shopping bags, and book an appointment is of a store's interior. Each of the three has text explaining them as well as a button. And then finally, Okay, at the bottom of the page I see a black background with white text. There's a title at the top that says, Join us for the holiday season to find unique gifts and discover the house's latest news, followed by a subscribe button. Below that there are multiple text-based links and titles like May We Help You, The Company, Store Locator, and a sign up for Gucci updates. Okay, so now pretend, now, now I want to recreate this entire landing page on my own e-commerce website. Give me an, an entire prompt and breakdown of everything that we just saw together. Okay, I understand. You want a full breakdown of everything on the Gucci landing page? To recreate it for your e-commerce website, here's a summary of the features we went through. At the top, there's the order now to receive by 1224ths banner, then the Gucci logo, followed by the image with the man and woman with the Gucci gift giving, and for her and for him buttons. There is a section with different product categories with corresponding images, which include women's handbags, women's small leather goods, women's shoes, and men's shoes. Then there's the evening occasion and travel categories with corresponding images. Next is a section titled Gucci Gift, A Night in Florence, with a video and text description along with a Discover Gucci Gift button. After that, there's the personalization, collect and store, and book an appointment sections with their corresponding videos, description texts, and buttons. Finally, at the very bottom, there is a black footer with a header text that says, join us for the holiday season to find unique gifts and discover the house's latest news, and a button to subscribe and different links to store locator, company, and services. How is this breakdown? Is there anything you would like me to elaborate on further? Okay, that was pretty good, but you missed all of the animations, which was something I specifically asked you to focus on. You are absolutely correct, my apologies. I did miss many of the animations. Let me give you a recap that focuses on the moving elements. On the main image at the top, the light changes and the shadows shift slightly on the models. The for her and for him buttons slightly enlarge when hovered over. Okay, Google, that's fine. Thank you for that demonstration. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Okay, guys, so that's one example of something that was previously not possible. This is actually something I was specifically waiting to exist because I wanted to recreate this page here, but I had it. It's hard to explain, but you can't send a screenshot to ChatGPT because it doesn't see the animations, right? So, one big part of this is obviously the animations, and the only way to see animations is for AI to be able to understand and respond in real time to video. So that is something that is now unlocked. Now the other use case that I'm going to show you in this video is using it as a personal assistant or not even, it's more like a personal tutor, okay? So we'll start again. So stream real time, screen, entire screen, entire screen. Hey Google, how are you today? Okay, I understand you're talking about the entire screen. No, stop, stop. Is there stop. anything specific you would like to discuss about the entire screen? Okay, I want to set up Git SCM on my computer. Okay, you'd like to set up Git SCM on your computer. Is there a specific operating system you are using, such as Windows, Mac, or Linux? I'm on Windows. Okay, so you are using Windows. Are you familiar with downloading and installing software on Windows, or would you like some guidance on that process? Show me where it's downloaded from and I'll be able to download it. Okay, you'd like to know where to download Git SEM from. You can go to the official Git website, which is git semdom tom and download the version for Windows there. Would you like me to provide any further guidance with that? Where is the download button? Okay, I can see the download button on the screen. It's a green button labeled Download for Windows, located on the right side, near the center of the page. Is there anything else I can help you with? Is this the correct button? 
Yes, that green button labeled Download for Windows is indeed the correct button to download the Git SCM Which software. Which button do I now Windows. press? Okay, now you are on the download page for Windows. You should press the 64-bit Git for Windows Setup button to download the Git installer. Would you like further assistance with installing Git? I have now installed Git, but I need to, I think there are additional steps before I can use it on my terminal. Can you run me through those steps? Okay, you've downloaded the Git installer, but you believe there are additional steps before using it in your terminal. After running the installer, Git should be available on your terminal. However, it's possible that you may need to restart your terminal or command prompt for the changes to take effect. Could you try that and see if that resolves your issue? It still doesn't work. I believe there's an additional step that you are not telling me. Okay, I understand it's still not working and you think there's an additional step. After installing Git, you might need to add Git to your system's PETH environment variable. To do this, search for environment variables in Windows Search, click on Edit the system environment variables, then click on Environment Variables. Under System Variables, look for Path and edit it, then add the path to your Git installation, usually located in C Program Files Git bin. Is that something you are familiar with, or would you like further assistance? I'm on, I'm on my environment variables now. Can you help me find where my Git is installed? Okay, I can see you're in the environment variables window. Within the user variables or system variables section, you need to find the path variable, select it, and click the edit button. Then in the new window, you have to add a new variable pointing to the git installation folder, which by default is C program files git bin. Then press OK in all open windows. Is there something specifically you are not seeing? Or I cannot anywhere? find the installed, the installed folder. Can you help me find it, please? Okay, I understand you can't find the installed folder for Git. It's typically located in C program files Git. Could you check if it's there? If you installed it to a different directory, please let me know. How do I find my program files? Come on, walk me through it, dude. Okay, to find your program files, you can open File Explorer, which is the folder icon on your taskbar, or by searching for it. Once File Explorer opens, you'll see the This PC option in the left-hand sidebar. Click on that, then find your main drive, which is usually labeled as Local Disk C. Open that, and you will find a folder named Program Files. Is there anything else you'd like to know about that? And then I just double-click Git, and then what, which one of these do I add to system variables? Okay, I see the contents of the Git folder. You need to add the bin folder to your system variables. So double-click on the bin folder to open it. Then copy the file path that's shown on the address bar at the top of the File Explorer window. This is the path you will need to add to your system environment variables. Would you like any more assistance with that? Now help me make sure that that worked. Okay, now that you've added the git bin directory to your system's PATH, the changes should have been applied. To verify that it worked, open your command prompt or PowerShell, type git version, and press enter. If the git version is displayed, it means that the PATH update was successful. Would you like any more assistance? No, that's fine, Google. You've successfully helped me install Git on my system. I thank you, and I will see you later. Okay, you're welcome. I'm glad I could help you install Git. Have a great day. There's no excuse anymore, guys. I don't want to hear, oh, it's too difficult. I can't do this. How do I do this? Literally, there is no excuse anymore to not be able to do something. This will tell you, while watching your screen, how to install this, how to do that, how to do the other. There's no excuse anymore. You can't say things are too complicated anymore, okay? I, I, re I just refuse to hear it. This is a huge, 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 huge step forwards in AI. You can now use AI to watch your screen and tell you how to do anything you want. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. I just wanted to show these two real use cases for the new streaming AI tool that Google has come out with. This was something I was specifically waiting for. I'm very, very impressed by the result. A couple more use cases, by the way, if you're wondering. Photoshop, if you have no idea what you're doing on Photoshop, 
You can use this AI to tell you how to blur something, crop something, cut something out. If you're not very good at Adobe, um, what's it called, After Effects, or if you're not very good at Premiere Pro and you want to edit videos, same thing. You can say, how do I cut a clip? How do I add a PNG over this clip? How do I do this, that, and the other? And this new AI will tell you how to do everything. And it'll be pretty accurate as well, okay? I'll tell you that. Because it has the context of your screen, okay? It's not just guessing and just throwing shit at the wall and hoping what sticks anymore. It is literally watching your screen and telling you what to do. There's a few use cases for this, guys. This is gonna be huge, I think, probably in three to six months. This will be everywhere. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want a completely unbiased breakdown of Gemini Flash 2.0.